Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Today I'm going to be doing pack 5 of the Agora Worms release, a build, the LaFerrari. LaFerrari, that just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> uh, if you remember in the last pack, we were starting to build the engine and uh, it's no different today. We're going to be adding a lot of detail to this. Uh, it's going to be fun, there's going to be wires, there's going to be pipes. Don't think it's going to be as long as uh, yesterday's video, though. Oh, that drained me. That drained me big time. But uh, that's where we got to anyway. So uh, let's work on that today. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down here to the Agora Models website. There's also a QR code on the screen that you can scan, and that will take you straight to the site as well. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So we're starting this build at stage 33 and we're going to be doing the central transmission here. So we've got lots of little pieces in here. And if any of you are wondering, yeah, I haven't got a clue what I've done there. No idea whatsoever. So uh, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> so all of these parts that you're seeing here are plastic. We're going to be bringing over the engine, which is all metal, funny enough. <laughs> and I'm going to be putting this end on the end here. So this is just going on here, just over the two lugs. So that fits into place like that. That's going to be held in with two eye screws. These are silver screws. Remember, we do get all the screws for this build right at the start, so we don't have to hunt around for screws for each stage. So you do need a long shaft screwdriver for this, but that's one in. Perfect. And that's the second one there. If I turn this over, you see we've got a gap underneath the transmission. That's what this is going to fill. So I'm going to put this into place now which goes in this way, it can only go in one way, and this is just a push-in. So as you can see, it takes some work, it's quite a, a hard push-in, but you do want to make sure it's flush around all sides there. We have another little open section here, which again, got the piece for this, and again, this is just going to be pushed into the side, hiding all those screw holes that we had there. And then the last piece I've got looks just like this, this is just going into that area right at the front there, again, it's a push-in, it does make assembling this a lot better because these aren't coming out again once you push them in. But that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 34, we're doing the crankshaft pulley and the water pump. So I've got that here. Okay, in addition to what we've got here, in stage 31, we had a crankshaft pulley, which was this part here. And we also had a belt. So we need those parts now. Let's get them out. And I'm going to be putting the crankshaft pulley just onto this center hole right here. So again, this is just a push in, make sure it's in all the way. And then I get to put the belt on. So the belt is going to be going, hopefully you can see this on one camera, around this part here, sort of underneath this one here, and then around the other one here, which is going to be pretty fun. I think what's the best thing to do is to put the belt round all three of these and then get my tweezers here and just push that underneath this one here. So as you can see, it looks like that. Excellent. Now another thing we had in stage 31 was the water pump and the belt cover, which are these two items here. So I've got them out now. The water pump is just gonna go into these two points here. So just, again, a push in and make sure they fit flush in there. And that clips in just like that. Then I've got the belt cover, which is going to go over the top. We do have these uh, three lugs here. And I'm just positioning all of them up. They push in just like this. So now that looks like that there. The last part we have from stage 31 is this joint that's in this bag. That's just going to go over this point here. So if I put this in, I'll give you an idea of how that looks. That's going to go in just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So we've done everything to do with the water pump and belts. We haven't touched this stuff yet. <laughs> so stage 35, we're going to be starting the exhaust manifold. So I'm going to get all of these pieces. I mean, this is pretty similar to what we had last time. I'll keep these bits separate for a second. Okay, the parts that we had in stage 34 for manifolds was parts A b and c we don't actually need them at the moment but we do need the connector that we had in stage 34 
The other parts we had were from this stage. So let's get these out. And these are parts E, F, and D. So the first one I want is part D, which looks like this, and that's from this pack here. And I'm just gonna drop that in a tiny bit of oil and push that into any hole on this connector here, like that. The next part I'm gonna need is E, and that's gonna go next to it. It sort of goes over the top of this one. So I'm just gonna rotate this round to the way it's supposed to go. Bit of oil, and I'll put that in there. Make sure it goes all the way down. So when they're in, they should look like that there. We're then going to be putting F in, which is the next one along. And that sort of hops over these two ends here. So this is going to go in this way. Again, I will just put a tiny bit of oil. It does help get these in all the way without putting stress on them. Excellent. So then these parts are now lined up in a row just like that. So working on the next ones now. From this side, these are the parts from stage 34. This is A. That's going to go into this hole just here, like that. Then we're putting B in, which is this one here. And then finally C, which is just going into the gap there. So they all line up just like that. Pretty difficult to do, that is, I have to say. <laughs> but look at it. It's impressive. Pretty difficult to do. But that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 36, we've got some more of the exhaust manifold here. Lots of pieces this time, but I am going to need the connector from the last stage. And I'm going to open all these just so I can identify all the parts. Now I've laid them out just like the instructions here. Like that. These are so confusing to do, but these are E, C... D, B, A, F. <laughs> so the first one I want is C. And C is this second one here. So I can just pick any place on here and put that into place there. Okay, we've started. And then the B, which is this one here. And this, <laughs> trying to figure this one out, is going to go to the right of the one I've just put in here. And the flat sides are going to sort of hit each other. So when I put this in, Let's get this one in, this way around, like this. It should look like that from that side, and these should start lining up there. Okay, the next one I want is A, which is this one down the bottom here. Again, flat side is going towards this side over here. And your goal is to keep all of these lined up, you see. We then need D, which looks like that one here, and the flat side of that one is going to start on this side over here. So I get line that up. And again, when we put it in, just make sure we're putting it in so that these are all lining up together as well. But then putting D in, which is going to go next to that one. So when I put this in, once again, I just want to make sure that they're all lining up. So it's a joined on the edge there, and these are still lining up, so that's good. And then the two that are left are going into the holes that we can see just here. This one's going to be going to the left, of the one I've just put in there, over the top of what I've put in, and then the last one will go over the top of everything, just in here, to complete this manifold too. Pretty tricky to get it in, but I will do it. There you go, and that's the other manifold completed. And that's all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 37, the uh, it's labelled the left exhaust system. I don't know if we're working on that. I'm sure we're going to find out. We are. Let's get all of these parts out. So the first thing I want to do is take the parts of the rear exhaust, and I'm just going to be piecing these together. There is some lugs in there, so just line them up. And once they are all lined up, we can just push them together. So there you go. That clipped in. Perfect. Okay, we've got the left terminal which looks just like this. We're going to be pushing these into the holes just here. They are quite a tight fit, but they will fit. As you can see, they're in place like that. And then these two parts here, let me show you, kind of break down exactly what we're doing here. These are going to go together like this. Now they have got locating lugs, 
to actually push these in. I don't want to do that yet because I've got to put one side of this onto this section just here. So I'm going to get that in. Once it's lined up, I will push just that side in just there. So that's in. I'm not putting any screws in on. I'm leaving this end over open because this is where I need this manifold now, which is going to go into the end up here. So I'm going to get that in as well. It's a little bit tricky. Let's just open that up a bit more. So that will fit nice and comfortably in there. And there we go. That's that in place. Quite hard to do that was. Uh, we're going to put some screws in here. So type I screws. Just uh, lining up all of these parts here into the holes to keep all of this together. So there's uh, no gaps already. It holds itself, but they do want it reinforced with these eye screws. And we're going to have three of these. So that's one. Number two is next to it. And number three is just at this box at the end here. Now this is able to rotate slightly. It's going to help me when I put this into the engine. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. So bringing the engine over, this is going to be going on this side here. Now, all the parts of this are going to go into here just like that there. But we do have the little flange, which is in here to take off. And I'm going to be putting these into place. So I think what might be best is actually to put these on first. And this will actually space out everything where it needs to be. As you can see, that gives a little bit more stability to each of these parts for when it comes to putting them into this section just here. So line them up and I can now just push them in. Now what I'm gonna do, just seeing how they fit, I am gonna put a bit of oil down each one to help get these in. They're a very tight fit, so they're not gonna need glue in. And there you go. With the oil, it just makes things a lot easier to get them in. And then all I need is my tweezers just to help push these down. So when that's in, it should look just like that. That's so impressive. I love it. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So now we know how to do that, we've got to do it again for the other side. But this time we do have some pipes in here. So we'll work on those afterwards as well. So just like last time, I'm going to put some oil just in the box here. So that it's easier to put these parts together here. Line them up and then push them to make sure there's no gaps around them, which is perfect. Then we're going to be taking this section here and pushing this in the end. This way around. You heard that click in there, no problems. Then we're going to be doing what we did last time on piecing these two parts here together. That's how they're kind of going to go. This one's going to go over the edge here. So then I can push just this side in. There you go, snaps in. And then we're going to be taking the manifold and putting that just over the top here. It's only this inner lip that goes in. And there we go. That's that in place. Once again, eye screws just to hold that together. Once again, I'm going to put this sleeve over the top to line all of this up. Perfect. Get over the way down. Bring the engine over. Then once again, I'm going to drop some oil just into the holes this is going to be going into. This will ensure that these get seated really flush against the engine because they really are a tight fit. Just like last time, get these lined up and pushed in. And there you go. That's both of those in place. That's looking really good, isn't it? Obviously, these are able to turn, so you can position these how you want at the moment, but that is in. Perfect. Now, we've got these hydraulic hoses here, so let's get these out. And I do love how they've already been sort of like connected to their connectors and everything for us. So these are going to be going on the end just here. And they go into the holes that we've got just at the side here. We've got two this side, two this side. So let's get those in first. It goes this way around with a longer end on this side of the engine. Probably going to put a little bit of glue in just to keep them in place. And they're both in on these sides. 
Now this pipe that's coming on this side is going to go into the two holes. You can see it on the top camera there. Just there. So let's get those in. Anything to do with pipes, I always drop some glue in here. And as you can see, that's those in on that side there. We've got this pipe here, which I'm just going to unravel. And these pipes are going to go on this side of the engine into the two holes here. So one there, and the one underneath. Let's get that all the way in. Perfect. So we've now got two large pipes coming from this engine. We've got one more, which is this yellow one here. We're going to take the longer side of these and it's going to be going into these three holes just here. So again, I might put glue in these. I'm just going to see how they sit in here. They're very tight, so I don't think I will glue these actually. That's why I'm using pliers to get the force <laughs> to push them in. Just like that, you see? Oh, let's do that middle one. And that massive section there is all there is to do in that stage. So stage 39 here is the ignition system. Let's get this one done. Lots of wiring looms here. And we're at the point now, which we, uh, I've been waiting for this for the start, which we're actually gonna be putting the rocker head covers on with the gaskets. So if you remember these, they look just like this. And we want them on this way. So these sections here are facing towards the middle. So one on this side and one on this side over here. With the gaskets on, make sure they don't fall off. Now I'm gonna put those in with type H screws. And those screws go down where we haven't put plugs, you see, so that's what holds these in. So get these in to each side. And then once that's securely in, we can go back to the plugs that we had at the start and put these in. These are directional because they do have a little tiny notch in there, which tells you what way they go. And these are now going to hide those screw holes. So as you can see, they're all in place like that. So it's time to put the wiring loom in. And the one I'm holding here is the right hand side one. Let's do this. So all I'm going to be doing is forgetting these parts here. It's just these uh, connectors here. One, two, three, four, five, six are going to go on all of these plug points here. So I'll get these in. I just want to see what sort of fit these are. I think these are tight as well. We're not going to need to glue these, but that's one. Such an easy way to do this. Look at this. Two, three. And just get these all in on this side. And then these points at the end are just going to go on these M1s here. And as you can see, that's in just like that. That looks really good. And these ends sort of wrap round and go over these M1s here. Going to do the same on the other side. I'm telling you, wiring looms is the way to go with these. Look at that. It's nice and tidy. They're all in place. They're all looking good. Excellent. Now, if you have a look at these guards here, they're going to go over the three pins on the rocker covers. One, two, three here. So what I'm going to do is line this one up first. It's going to go over like that and push these onto these pins. Perfect. And just do the same on the other side. That's looking good, isn't it? <laughs> I like that. All we've got left is the lower left exhaust manifold, which is going into the two sides holes on this left side here. And again, push these in. So it fits on just like that. The whole engine's coming together. This is great. Right, I'm going to be getting the uh, air box now, which is going to go on top. Remember, this is what the air box looks like. And it's just fitting over these two slots here. So make sure the wires are out the way, just so you can get this in. One and two. And that's just a push in like that. That is all there is to do in that stage. How good does that look? <laughs> okay, last stage. Now the last stage here has the rear frame. This is a solid piece of metal. Check that out. Absolutely solid. And we do have a couple of other items here uh, on the frame as well. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting this uh, inner compartment walls on. These just go over the edges here and here. They fit on like this. They're actually held in with H screws into the bottom. We need two of those. And a D screw just into the side here. D screws are quite hard to get in there. But there you go. That's the first one in. Just do the last one. Perfect. So they're quite rigid in there. I'm going to be bringing the engine over. And that is now going to be going in here. Now, I'm going to be putting the engine in this. So take these exhaust boxes and just push them down like this. That will enable you to drop this into the engine compartment here. Just like that. And then you can just turn them back round so they are going to sit in there like that. <laughs> Simple, isn't it? Perfect. Now I'm going to be screwing this engine in from the underside with some Type B screws. So I've got one just going in here. And get that in nice and tight. And that will keep the front of the engine in with the transmission. And the other two are just going in just at the back here. Because of that air box, you can actually rest this down. It'll make your life a lot easier. Then I'm using my big screwdriver to get these in nice and tight. Now this is the rear frame bracket here. Get this open. And this rear frame bracket is just going to go onto these points here and here, this way round. So put it in, just underneath that wire there. And it sits on just like that. We're not actually securing this into place at the moment. Now, this is perfectly finished. This middle one keeps popping out, so I am going to glue that in there. But that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. How impressive does that look? So I know you're always interested in how much we've been recording. This is a recording time of one hour, 40 minutes. So I haven't got a clue how much this, the edited version of this is. But uh, it is impressive. It's really impressive. I mean, look, check that out. We've got a LaFerrari engine in its frame. <laughs> if you want to get this for yourself, once again, I'll put the link here to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.